Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi hello, my name is Loey. I'm in a very chipper mood today for no reason except I've had a lot of coffee. Alright, you guys have been telling me to get on this for a while now and I was kind of taking my time both because I didn't really know if I wanted to talk about this. I've said before that I don't necessarily know how I feel about following ARG alternate reality games anymore. Also because right around the time that I became a- well I had been aware of this Twitter account but by the time that people were like follow this, like do a video on this, follow this, Rainbot had just posted a video on it and I didn't want mine to be too close to hers. I didn't want it to come across that I was like copying her by doing the same video. If you guys would do me a big favor and check her out, I will have her channel linked down below. I'm sure a lot of you already know about her but she's phenomenal and I just, I don't know, it felt really close to the release of her video. I didn't want to do it straight away but there have been a lot of updates and this account just keeps getting weirder and weirder so I decided I would go ahead and follow it especially while we're still waiting for a Dear David part freaking 22. If you're sitting at home and you're like what account are you even talking about Lo? I am talking about the Twitter account The Sun Vanished. Um, this is a very eerie creepy game with a lot of video and kind of photo proof. I say proof but I more so mean like keys to the story and it is a weird one. This one I read and it just left me wildly like uncomfortable, just unsettled, like creeped out. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and I really can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. On April 30th, 2018 at 9.24 in the morning, at the sun vanished tweeted help. It's late in the morning and still dark outside. I can hear the tornado sirens in the next county over, but the weather radar is clear where is the sun? And then there is video of the TV and just how dark it currently is. Panic is taking hold on the nation in response to the sudden disappearance of the sun with violent riots taking place in just about every major city. We are receiving an influx of reports of ransacking and looting from New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, and Washington DC more isolated incidents coming in hourly. The president made a public statement this morning urging people to remain calm and stay in their homes. Meanwhile, experts are claiming this phenomenon to be an event similar to New England's dark day. The power keeps going out and I keep hearing noises outside, sometimes far away and sometimes close. There is another video, this time just pure darkness and some creepy noises and a lot of kind of like flickering flashing lights. I can't sleep. I think the noises outside are gunshots. It's still dark. The news said it would be back to normal by now, but it isn't. And then later, he tweeted, or they, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, tweeted a photo of the TV with a no signal sign coming from it. And it's all just like static and there's no signal anymore. TV signal is gone. The noises keep happening outside and I can barely keep track of time anymore. I am honest to God, terrified. I am so tempted to go outside. Should I? And then this person held a poll where 77% of people said yes and only 23% of people said no and I would really have liked if those odds were reversed because this is really weird. Then I went outside. I saw something out there that I really can't explain but I can show you. That video freaks me out so bad. It's unfreaking real. I looked for stars or planets as you all suggested. The sky was absolutely pitch black. Could be because of clouds or something else. Still shaken from the short time I was outside. I don't know what that flashing light was. 
but it was following me. And I don't really know if anyone said this, but to me in that flashing light, it did kind of look like there was like a face within it. Um, I'll kind of like include a few shots of that. It looked like there was like a face and that's what I saw initially, but I have chills. Day three, still no sign of daylight. It is getting colder. A person just ran by on my street. Two of the same flashing lights I saw yesterday were following him. They were gone by the time I got out my phone to record. Sorry everyone, and this is about a day later. Reception went out yesterday. I was worried it wouldn't come back. No signs of activity outside. Come to think about it, it has been a while since I heard a gunshot. Then another video with a caption, something just flew over my house. I couldn't see it, too dark outside, but a wave of heat just came over me. Feels like the temperature increased by like 10 or 15 degrees. Just compared the sound of this video to the sound of the helicopter footage I posted a few days ago. Whatever this was, it was definitely not a helicopter. The same day the person tweets, thank God, one of my friends is still alive. He just texted me. And then he includes a screenshot of a text from someone named Danyan. Dude, please tell me you are still alive. Yes, I'm alive. Where have you been? Why did it take you so long to reach me after I called you like 40 times? I'm sorry, but my phone was died and I was just now able to start charging it. You're still at your house, right? Yes. Okay, good. I'm still a two days drive away, but I'm coming to see you. I'm not really sure if that's a good idea or not. Why? What have you seen? Dude, you have no freaking idea. Then, now we have another problem, shortly followed by this tweet of guys in hazmat suits and like lights on everywhere. There's like lights on outside and there's just these two like dudes in hazmat suits standing out there. It's really freaking creepy. This, or it does look like two dudes, but in the next tweet he said this guy, like singular, so I don't know. This guy has been standing completely still with his back towards me. I have no idea how long he has been standing there. Later, he's still standing there, hasn't moved. He sends this picture to his friend Danyan, I'm assuming. It doesn't have the name, but I'm assuming that's the friend since it's the only person we've seen any contact with so far. Get away from the window. Keep all the lights off. Do not talk to them or let them in. And if you see any flashing lights, hide. And then this is followed by whoever was standing outside is gone now. Then a bit later, just bleep. <laughs> and then a video. To those of you asking, I am doing all right, hiding in my room and waiting this out. I haven't heard any more knocking, but I don't want to get anywhere near the front door to check. And don't worry, I have a way to defend myself if worst comes to worst. And there's just a baseball bat. If anyone knows anything about what is going on, please message me. 911 and other emergency lines are not responding and the only radio I have is out in the car. So I'm trying to gather as much information online as I can. Then there is a screenshot of a DM from somebody. Hey brother, I am from British Columbia. I don't know much, but I do know that you should never look into the red light, ever. If you do, you become like the guy who is at your door. Somebody tweeted him a photo of it being bright outside where they are, and he said, to be completely honest, I have no idea how to explain this. Followed by another screenshot of text messages with the quote, not good. So, I have good news and bad news. Uh oh. Good news is I'm closer to you now. Bad news is I'm out of fuel. There are no active gas stations anywhere close to me. All of the power is down and all of the gas stations nearby are electric gas pumps. Followed by another, oh no. He isn't even that close. How far away are you? Probs still eight or nine hours away. I'm really conflicted. Some of you say I should go. Some of you say I should stay. What should I do? Stay safe at home or drive the nine hours to Danyan? Most people did say stay safe at home, stay safe at home, uh, but it was pretty 50-50. This is followed by a tweet that says, someone is screaming outside, along with a video. I am really, 
really not sure about leaving now. He shows just some screenshots of tweets where people are like, don't leave, and this is probably to kind of like talk back to the people who are like, go get your friend or whatever. If I was in his shoes, I would stay exactly where I was too. But then he has another round of text messages to share. How are you avoiding detection? I'm just staying in the car. It's locked and off at the moment. After I catch a few winks, I'm gonna try to take a look around. All right, stay safe. Always, bud. You too. It's been really quiet today. I noticed it warmed up after that thing flew over my house again last night. Another round of texts. Don't worry about me, dude. I'll find a way to get to you eventually. I walked around for a couple of hours and haven't seen anyone human or otherwise on the highway. So I'm pretty sure I'll be safe here while I figure out what to do. Do you have enough food and supplies? Yeah, I have enough even if I am stranded here for a while. Don't worry about me worry about yourself. I'm really surprised the power has stayed on for this long. Only a few outages here and there, but I'm still extremely paranoid that it will go out permanently anytime now. You all have been bringing up the solar lights outside. They aren't actually solar, and I have them on a timer outside and I can't even turn them off without leaving the house. I feel exhausted all the time now. I think my internal clock is completely screwed up. I see a faint light outside my bedroom window going downstairs to check it out. This is followed by a video of flashing lights and some creepy as sin kind of sounds. I cannot freaking believe I am still alive. More text messages. You didn't look directly into the red light, right? Yes. You are absolutely sure. Yeah, I'm sure. What street did both of us live on when we were kids? Why? Answer the question. Frazier Road. Okay, we are good. Dang it, don't scare me like that. And then I'm assuming that that's probably like once these things take you, like, you can still kind of be seen as yourself, but you're not yourself. And again, I say these things, but we don't even really know what any of it is. Along with the text messages is like this screenshot or picture rather, and it says beware of headlights or beware of headlight. Um, I can't see very well. I was looking around and just found this. No earthly idea what it means. Then our main character, I feel like we need to give them a name. I'm assuming it's a guy at this point, but I'm gonna call him Bob. I feel like he probably doesn't want to be called Bob. I'm gonna call him Bob. Sometimes I feel like I have a good handle on this whole situation. I'm thinking rationally and logically, but other times I feel like bawling. Day nine. Sorry about that tweet last night. What happened at the window got to me a bit. Anyway, I'm currently in touch with a couple of people with some experience and some info about what's going on. Details to come. So then there are some screenshots from some DMs here on Twitter. So to give you some background, my name is Tucker. I live in Virginia. I was working a night shift when all of this shenanigans went down, just about to clock out for the day when I realized the sun wasn't up like it normally was when I clocked out. I kind of shrugged it off at first, but after a few hours I was getting really worried. I lived close to a relatively large city, so you can imagine what I had to go through when the riot started. Long story short, when I was heading out of town to get away from this mess, I met this guy named Flynn who was talking about these things that hunt people down. At this point I didn't believe him but I started to notice that the crowds and traffic congestion on the highway started slowly dissipating. Before you know it, the roads were completely empty. Terrifying. Flynn and I started traveling together after that. We had been finding dark places to hide, enough food and water to stay alive. We were doing pretty good for the first week. But then, just a few days ago, he came back inside after taking a leak and started losing it. Kept going on, just talking nonsense. It went on for days and I was worried that all of the stress from the situation got to him. But one day, it all stopped. And he wouldn't speak, wouldn't even acknowledge me. He just stood like a statue for probably a full 12 hours. Then he attacked me out of nowhere. I tried and tried to get him away, but he just wouldn't stop. I had to stop him. There was nothing else I could do. Anyway, I've been living on my own for the past couple of days. It's been tough, but thankfully I found an area with power and internet, which is why I can talk to you. Thank you for sharing your story. I'm sorry to hear about Flynn. Please share my story. I want people to know what happened. Our main character comes back and says, while I've been trying to collect info online, I completely forgot to check in on Daniel yesterday. He still hasn't responded to any of my texts. Later, he says, I'm hearing the noises outside again.
I swear to God, it sounds like someone is banging on my door, but there is no way I am going downstairs to check. It got in. I don't know how, but it got in. I am hiding. This followed by a video of flashing lights and something walking around in his home. I'm sorry if I'm gone for a while. I have to stay hidden and keep my phone off. It produces light. I am so sorry. Then the next day, it's finally gone. I think I'm safe now. I have no idea how, but the front door is unlocked and wide open. The alarm never came on either. I guess it got reset during one of the blackouts. Some good news for once, Danyan is back. Before you all ask, he seems to be in his right mind. I need to get serious about securing my house. And then he shares a picture of a bunch of like red solo cups kind of stacked up against, um, it looks like the door. It's primitive, I know, but this is a first step and apparently more reliable than my alarm system. Let me know if you all have other ideas to keep my house secure. My windows don't have curtains. I'm gonna have to find a creative way to block out any light coming from outside. This followed by another um, photo and this is like tin cans on the door so we can hear when it like opens. It's getting colder again. I'm running low on food and water. I feel like I could sleep for a week. Daniel texts him again and says, I found a car with a decent amount of gas in the tank. All I need is a siphon. Don't worry, bud. I'll be there soon. This was followed the next day by, I have a confession to make. I've been keeping something from you all. Over the course of the last week, I've been increasingly paranoid about someone or something coming into my house while I'm sleeping. And I don't think it's one of those lights. It feels different. I can't explain it, but I can sense it. And last night, after I put cans on the door handles, I've been waking up to clanging sounds. Not certain if it's real or if it's just my imagination. So now it's time to put my paranoia to the test. And then he shows that he put like flour in front of the door in like a line so that he can see if anyone enters. If the flower is disturbed, we will all know. The person from British Columbia who messaged me earlier just sent me this. I don't fully understand what this is supposed to be. It looks like stairs oh and when it's brightened there's someone standing behind them oh my god i'm covered in chills holy cow that is so scary i had a nightmare about that picture just woke up to more screaming outside the screaming isn't like last time very sporadic i can't tell where it is coming from the flower is untouched i keep trying to record the screaming when i hear it but the microphone isn't picking it up I think the screaming is coming from the neighbor's house. The last thing that he has tweeted, and this was three hours ago when I am filming this video, is one final screenshot of text with Danyan. And he says, this has been on my mind lately. And he says to Danyan, just curious, what year did we graduate high school? LOL, what? Never mind. So what that leads us all to believe is that whatever these things are, they've gotten his friend and his friend is on his way to him. So, whew. This one's pretty weird, you guys. Um, this is very detailed. It's happening much faster than a lot of games that we've covered in the past. And I think it's easily one of the scariest things I have read in a very, very long time. I don't feel like I can appropriately make a real theory about this yet. And maybe this will be something where we all kind of like come in together and start making our own theories. But it definitely kind of feels like an end of the world type of like story, if that makes any sense. Like it feels like the world is ending. There's something going on. It reminds me of this episode of Black Mirror and it didn't turn out the way that um, it initially came across, but it was like everyone got taken over by their this like transmission that was coming on through the cell phones and the TVs and everything and everyone was just like following and recording when like people were doing crazy stuff. I don't know. But that's sort of what it gives me the vibes of. Um, what do you guys think? Is it like aliens? Is it like end of the world? Is it like crazy people? It's weird to me that there's no stars or anything in the sky and if this story is like true and running along with like the current time frame the only way that i could look outside and still see sun and this person couldn't is probably if like there's like a dome over 
whatever town it is that he's in or over a specific area I don't know like it that's sort of what it seems like to me because it's blocking out the stars and the moon and like the everything like he can't see anything in the sky it's just black I don't know you guys let me know what you think of this one down below so many of you have been like literally telling me on a daily basis to cover this so I hope you were really excited about it because I was really excited to film this I love you all very very much give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I love you guys and I will see you in my next video